I definitely expected AI to be front and center for a lot of the SEO changes in 2023, but things are moving a lot faster than I could ever imagine. As an update, if you guys haven't heard, there were two monumental announcements last week. The first one being that Google announced Bard. Now, Bard is in some ways the direct competition of ChatGPT, but it goes quite a bit deeper than that. It's powered by a language model called Lambda. And this is a project that Google has been working on for over two years. Lambda is the equivalent of GPT for a tool like ChatGPT. Now, apart from the traditional ChatGPT style of conversation, where you input a prompt and receive a conversational answer, which by the way, ChatGPT seems to have pioneered, Bard tackles that main limitation that ChatGPT has, which is its connection to the internet. Here's a quote directly from Google. Bard draws on information from the web to provide fresh, high quality responses. So again, that main limitation that ChatGPT has where it isn't connected to the internet and it's stuck in 2021 has just been crushed by Bard. On top of all this, and probably even more importantly, is the fact that Google says that they want to add AI features to the search. Now, this could be seriously game changing and also quite worrying. So what is this going to look like inside of search? Well, it's hard to know since we don't have too much info, but from their blog post announcement last week, we have these two previews of what it could look like inside of search. So we have that keyword in here, and then we have the AI generated result, which almost looks like a featured snippet. And also right under, we have the rest of results. Here's an example of the user typing in that keyword and the AI generated generating the result on the spot. And then again, as you scroll down, there's the rest of results. Now we'll talk about that more in just a second, but I do want to talk about the second bombshell of last week, which was Bing launching GPT directly into their search. Now again, GPT is the technology behind chat GPT. And by the way, there are rumors that it's going to be GPT-4 that Bing is going to be using, which is much more powerful than the current versions of GPT-3 and 3.5. And the main thing that Bing is doing here is that they're aiming to create a chat GPT like experience inside of Bing. And if you guys go to the Bing search engine, you're going to see that there's a little tab up here for chat. You click on that, you're going to be taken to a little preview and they're going to tell you to join the waitlist since it isn't publicly available for everyone just yet. Now we do have a couple examples of what this might look like with different types of keywords, which is important to consider. Here's the first one right here. So this one is more informational in nature. I just went fishing in Montana and I'd like to go fishing wherever else, right? So we we do see that we have those normal results coming in on the left. And on the right, we see that AI generated chunk of text almost looks like a knowledge panel sidebar type equivalent, right? So very long. And it looks like there are references here, which is something that we're going to talk about in just a second. And it's also very important. Here's a different keyword, which is slightly more worrying. What car should I be considering? Their AWD goes zero to 60 in less than whatever seconds, right? Again, we do see those results. And then we have, again, that Bing AI generated answer, again, as some type of sidebar. And guys, check out the answer, right? So that's a very specific question based on my web searches. There are not that many cars that meet all that criteria, but I found some options that you might want to consider. And it's telling us that it has pulled data directly from some of the results inside of Bing. And we also see at the bottom that there's an option of continuing that chat. Now, this might be a lot of info, but let's talk about what this means for the world of SEO. And before I dive into that, I do just want to say don't panic, right? First of all, Bard isn't out yet. It's still in a very experimental phase and it's currently only available to a group of very specific testers. So that and all the other AI features inside of Google and inside of search will still take some time to come out. Bing's GPT integration is still also very early. It does seem that they've beaten Google in this part of the race, but we still don't know what it's going to properly look like. There is a wait list of over 1 million people on it, which I honestly recommend that you guys join so you have early access and you see what it looks like in real time. Now, let's talk about how this affects us as website owners. The first thing, is that there's definitely a possibility that traffic is going to drop. Over the past few years, Google has added more to the results pages, things like knowledge panels, people also ask, featured snippets, amongst a bunch of other things. And there's been a sharp rise of zero click searches. Here's an example. Let's say I type into Google, how far away is the moon? I get that result right away with also some type of knowledge panel, 3D model, the whole thing. If this is what I'm looking for, I'm not really going to continue scrolling down for different results. This is what a zero click click search would be. And so if moving forward, we have a chat GPT like conversation with search where it's dynamic, it's up to date, and it can actually provide detailed info. There's definitely a chance that those zero click searches increase, which means that us as website owners are going to get less traffic. Now, the second thing is we might have to reconsider targeting informational keywords with our content. Now, there's definitely a case for rethinking our ranking efforts for those keywords. And so a lot of these keywords were chat GPT's having an easy time answering 
answering, that might be a pretty good indication that the Bing AI or Google's AI will take over that keyword. Which to be fair, I'd probably guess that most of these type of very informational keywords are already being taken over by some type of search feature, something like a featured snippet, maybe even a video. A really good example here is how to ride a bike. There's already a video that's ranking for that featured snippet. This isn't really a keyword that I would try to target with my content. It's gonna be interesting to see how the AI reacts to questions and keywords that need more subjective answers, right? Keywords that are more comparative and transactional in nature. We've seen ChatGPT have a hard time with those types of keywords, but in that preview that we just talked about of the Bing AI search chat, Bing was pulling data from their search results. But, and this is important, they were adding references to where they were taking that data from. And this leads me perfectly into my last point, this question of references. Because in the preview that we got from Google, as we can see here, it doesn't really seem that Google is adding any references or citations to where it's getting that content from. Now, it is important to say that we don't actually know where they're getting the content from. And number two, that it's still in a very experimental phase, so we don't know if this is the final product. But let's say for argument's sake that Google takes data directly from your website, from the content that you've created, and presents it in the AI search result, right, in that same conversational manner. It should be in some way giving credit to the website owner, to the content owner, and I'm not really sure how it's going to do that. So again, we do have that example inside of Bing, as you guys see right here, where it's pulling the top 14 results. I'm not really sure how it's doing it. But this brings up the question of, are we now going to compete for that space in the AI generated result instead of a featured snippet, for example, right? It's definitely an interesting question. And if that's the case, on-page SEO and creating properly structured content is going to be more important than ever. But again, that question of referencing the author and making sure that everybody is getting credit for the content if it's being pulled into that AI generated result is something that I'm very curious about. And as a website owner, I hope that Bing and Google give us decent solutions. I'd love to know your thoughts on all of this. Leave your comments in the comment section. There's still a lot of SEO to be done, guys. Don't stress out too much. I'll see you guys in the next one.